Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a fast and easy way to animate textures using the motion tile effect. So I started with this grungy scratch texture that I created. It's actually 11 different textures that I just compiled all together in Photoshop. I have included a link in the description. If you'd like to download a copy of this texture, you can do whatever you want with it. Just click on the link, it will automatically download to your computer. And I also included an inverted version. So if you want the white version with black scratches, you can download either or both. First, create a new composition. I'll call it texture animation, 1920 by 1080 pixels, 24 frames per second, 10 seconds in duration. Choose any background color and click okay. I'll drag the texture file into the project panel, drag the texture onto the comp window. I can see the texture is a lot bigger than the composition, so tap S for scale and just scale it down till it looks good. I'll select the layer. I'm gonna go to the effects and presets panel. If you don't see that, go to the window menu, choose effects and presets. I'll click in the search field and start typing out motion. I'm looking for motion tile. Then I'm just gonna drag it right onto that texture layer. Select the texture layer, then go up to Effect Controls where you see the motion tile effect. Hold the Option key if you're on a Mac, Alt if you're on Windows, and click on the stopwatch next to Tile Center. Then go down to the Expression Editor in the Timeline, and we're gonna add two lines to this expression. The first line that we're gonna add is Posterize Time. This is gonna control the frame rate, so we can control how fast and give it that kind of stop motiony feel. So I'll type in posterize time, lowercase p, o, s, t, r, i, z, e, capital T, open and close parentheses, and I'm gonna enter in 12 to start. I'll go outside of the parentheses and put a semicolon. Then I'm gonna go to the next line by tapping the enter key, and I'm gonna enter in wiggle. So w, i, g, g, l, e, open and close parentheses, the first number of the wiggle is the frequency. How often do you want it move? I'm gonna type in 50, I'll press comma. The second number is the amplitude. How much do we want it move? We want it to go crazy. So I'm gonna enter in a value of 1000. You can even go higher than that. Just experiment with these numbers. I'll tap the right arrow key to go outside of the parentheses and I'll end with a semicolon. I'll click outside the expression editor, tap the space bar, and thanks to the motion tile effect, we have an endlessly looping texture animation, easy as that. If you're seeing any parts of your background, you can scale up the texture layer. If you wanna play around with the speed, you can adjust the posterized time. For some finishing touches, first I added a text layer. On the text layer, I added the rough and edges effect to grunge up the text a little bit, and I added turbulent displays to give a little bit of wiggle or movement. Then I duplicated the texture animation that had the motion tile effect, and I selected the text layer, went to the track mat column, and I selected that duplicated texture layer so the texture would go inside of the text. And lastly, I added an adjustment layer. On the adjustment layer, I added the posterized time effect so I could control the frame rate of the entire composition. And that is how you can use the motion tile effect for a fast and easy way to animate textures in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.